Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 5. We are here for round 3 here at Las Vegas. On the pole is going to be Greg Jones in the number 60 Fast and All Ford. And alongside him is Joseph Bryant in the 81 Daystar Dodge Charger. Starting third, Danny Wells, so he's right uh, behind his teammate there, Greg Jones. Then fourth, Zach Buchanan. Fifth, Kenny Murray. Sixth, Corey Williams. Seventh, Mitch Speed. Eighth, Carter Kozlowski. Ninth, Charles Jackson. And Carter's brother, or Carter's sister, will start right behind him. Courtney Simpson rounds out your top ten. And now here's the rest of the starting lineup. Eleventh, twelfth. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 41st, and 42nd. Last place, Alex Filter. No in-race reporter for today's race, but we got the uh, scoring ticker up in the top right. That's a reminder if you want to we'll look on through the results or look on through the running order throughout the race. That's what, or that's where you should look to find the running order. We will be uh, scrolling through those throughout the race so you can see where your favorite driver is running. So Greg Jones, trying to get a good run here today. And coming out of turn number four, Greg Jones, Joseph Bryant, Danny Wells, Zach Buchanan, the first two rows coming down to the green flag. We're racing at Las Vegas for the third round of the championship. In a turn one already, Kenny Murray looks low. That could be an issue if somebody else peeks their nose in there. We cannot make it four wide. Well, we can, but it's not going to last. <laughs> and oh, Danny Wells had to give way. That number six car won here in the Holiday Inn Cup Series. And look out. And oh, trouble around goes Joseph Bryan into the wall. And further back, Garrett Jones hits him, Sean Henley, and there's trouble further up. Carter Kozlowski involved, Julie Stewart. Carter Kozlowski's teammate involved, Jacob Lawler. Pacioli looks to have some damage. Oh, Julian Ortiz's car is killed. Garrett Jones, that car is destroyed. And going back to the front, Kenny Murray won the race back to the line by about half a tenth over Greg Jones. And we're trying to figure out here what happened. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Look at what just happened under caution. What is Justin Perry thinking? Comes flying in under caution at high speed, clobbers Kenny Murray, and the back of that car is just absolutely destroyed. I don't have a clue as to what Justin Perry was thinking, but let's see what happened to bring out the caution. Alright, here is the replay. Oh, we got a little bit too slow there. Okay, here it is. So right here, Zach Buchanan and Danny Wells are leaning on each other. They come up into Br uh, Joseph Bryant, and he comes off. Carter Kozlowski just clipped him, but then everybody else tried to avoid turns and unfortunately can't get through. Garrett Jones gets hit and then got hit in the back there by his good friend Hunter Stone in the 15. But yeah, there was more trouble further up, and it was a big pile up near the front there. I think the main driver kind of involved in this right here is Carter Kozlowski because he bounced into a Joseph Bryant and then he got turned back down into traffic. And then there's just nowhere to go from there. John Worry. Ah, oh, John Dillon got hit. We did not notice that. Jacob Lawler. Oh, Matthew McMurray, last week's winner in the Sport Clips car. There's Timmy Pacioli. He got hit there by Gino Harvey a little bit. And oh, Ziggy Bain just snuck through in the 82. So the first caution of the day is out. About 10 cars are probably going to be out of this race. Let's go back to the green, where Kenny Murray might not be leading him back down. 
coming through turns three and four. Kenny Murray is scored out of the race. Greg Jones, Mitch Speed, Charles Jackson, Danny Wells, Corey Williams, your top five. Courtney Simpson, Zach Buchanan, CJ Sorensen, Dion Petty, and Evan Earnhardt, your top ten. As we got 36 cars left with Kenny Murray. 37th. That is just terrible for that number nine. I cannot believe it. But we go back green, and I'm sure Kenny's going to have some words with Justin Perry. He will not be happy. And already, here comes the 87 of Mitch Speed to the inside. Corey Williams further back made the move, and now he falls back in line. But now he's going to get passed by Zach Buchanan and CJ Sorensen. Coming down the back stretch, Greg Jones led him back down with Mitch Speed wasted no time getting out front. And now we're already gonna pack it in. Oh boy, Greg Jones way up the track. And oh 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 boy. The leaders made some contact. Corey Williams got up into the wall, and I don't think we made it. Oh, Phil Jones off the pace. Hmm, I guess we made it. Surprisingly, but right here, I'm a little bit nervous. Evan Earnhardt. Oh boy, they almost wrecked him. Evan right on the quarter panel of uh, Jack Richards, or Charles Jackson, sorry. Oh, Courtney Simpson. Oh, she's into the wall. Oh, jeez, Charles Jackson made the move of the century to avoid that crash but he lost out on a bunch of positions unfortunately uh oh uh oh caution matthew mcmurray and timmy paccioli have damage pace car is out zach buchanan got the race back to the line let's try to figure out what happened well this wouldn't work five wide yeah i don't think so Right here, Summers got hit by Phil Jones. He got knocked down into John Dillon. And look at Summers, he saved it, but then, ah, John got up into Matthew McMurray. And Pacioli had nowhere to go. So a little three-car incident involving both of the Penske cars and last week's winner. And, oh, John Worry and Carter Kozlowski did a great job avoiding further contact. And everybody else, I believe, made it cleanly back to the line, except for Simpson. She got into the wall by her old car number, number six, and oh, Charles Jackson made the save of the century there. Look at Greg Jones go all the way down onto the apron to avoid the crash, and uh, Zach Buchanan wins the race back to the line. Let's go back to the green. All right, going back green at about half a lap. Zach Buchanan on point, CJ Sorensen, Connor Breton, Mitch Speed, Dion Petty, um, Danny Wells, Evan Earnhardt, Corey Williams, Greg Jones, and Courtney Simpson, your top 10. Andrew Schwartz restarts on the inside of these guys, one lap down in the 27. 33 cars left. John Dillon, the last of them, as he was involved in that last crash. As we come off of turn four, Pace Car dives onto pit road. And Zach Buchanan, CJ Sorensen, Connor Breton, the top three with the lapped car, Andrew Schwartz, going back to the green flag. We're racing again. Schwartz, we expected him to not get going, and he didn't. And Evan Earnhardt, oh, he didn't give him room. And making sure everybody gets around the lapped car of Schwartz cleanly. They have so far, but I'm not sure that's going to last. Kurt Keslowski makes an aggressive move into three to get around the left car of Schwartz. Uh-oh, that could be trouble. Four wide left car is there. Seth Cole contact, and around he goes. Seth Cole, Andrew Schwartz, spin around. Gino Harvey, Alex Filter, Ziggy Bain, Kyle Smith, nowhere to go. Oh, John Worry comes in. John Dillon just snuck through it. Ah, oh, just absolute carnage coming out of turn number four. Ah, oh, Jacob Lawler with some damage, Carter Kozlowski. Turner Motorsports was involved in that crash pretty badly. As many cars, and we got more trouble with Seth Cole. Seth kind of uh, was involved in the crash in the first place, and now he gets wrecked under caution. Let's get a replay of what just happened. 
All right, here is a replay of what just happened in that crash. Courtney Simpson slid up high, and Seth Cole tried to go underneath, but uh, yeah, Simpson got into him first, and Corey Williams almost got turned further up. But yeah, around goes Seth Cole, and then oh, Andrew Schwartz, he got pretty bad in that, and then Gino Harvey hits him, Alex Filter. Oh, nah, it was close there with Dylan Young. Dylan almost got through that. And unfortunately for them, they ended up not getting through, even though they were close. And Hunter Stone came in, hit Courtney Simpson. Now, under caution, Seth Cole, I don't know what happened, but he came in here. He was getting back up to speed. He came down low, and I have a feeling he just kind of slid up in... Oh, there was more trouble further up it with Dylan Young. I think Julie Stewart might have got into Dylan Young. And it looks like that is not the case, though. I think Dylan Young came through here with just too much speed. Tried to get low of these guys and crashed. And, oh, 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 yeah, he got in the back of Jacob Cook pretty hard there. Yeah, that was just something that you can't not do under caution. Just like what uh, Justin Perry did earlier in this race in the 16. You just cannot speed under caution. You're going to cause a big wreck. And then Seth Cole, oh, that's got to hurt. He came flying in there high speed, about 140 miles an hour, trying to uh, catch back up to the end of the pacing line. So back to the leaders with Zach Buchanan being the leader for the restart. Let's go back to the green. All right, going back green, this time by with 11 laps to go. Zach Buchanan, C.J. Sorensen, Connor Breeden, Mitch Speed, Evan Earnhardt, Dion Petty, Danny Wells, Corey Williams, Greg Jones, and Brian LaFleur Jr. Peeks his nose into the top 10. Well, we said before this race that we would be uh, scrolling through the uh, running positions off to the right, but we've had so many cautions, we really haven't had a green flag run to show that. And Schwartz, we're going to keep the uh, cameras here on Schwartz because he kind of caused that last wreck. And uh-oh, teammates Corey Williams and Brian LaFleur Jr. are going to be in a two-wide battle with each other. And that got close, but they're going to make it. Uh-oh, Kurt Kozlowski comes outside. Corey Williams, that almost caused a wreck. Kurt was our inner supporter back at Boston, and look out. This could be trouble. Oh, boy. I think they kept it together. I don't see Schwartz. Okay, there, there he is. All right, we made it that lap. And Zach Buchanan won at Daytona, and it's been a dry spell since. Well, this is last season. Would not exactly be a dry spell if that was the Daytona 500 this season. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Kurt Kozlowski, he's up high. Guys in front racing really hard. Turner Motorsports cars almost wrecked each other. Phil Jones and Sean Galligan almost wrecked each other. And whoa, an aggressive move to the inside. Mitch Speed he got loose trying to make that move because he shot down low so quickly. Whoops, sorry about that. Coming out of turn number two. Oh, wow, Zach Buchanan. CJ Sorensen has run him down. It was a three-tenths of a second gap coming onto the lap, and suddenly CJ is there. CJ wants the inside, and he's got it, but he's not going to be able to complete the pass just yet. As we have a caution. I saw Chris Summers, Sean Galligan, MFN SRA guys. Looked like they were pretty badly involved in this. Yeah, Galligan is in it. I saw Summers. Ah, oh, trouble for these guys. I think Stephen Dillon might have been involved as well. So let's get a replay of Sean Galligan's crash. Wow, this is actually a pretty big incident right here. So Sean comes up the track ever so slightly and gets into Charles Jackson. And when you do that, there's nowhere to go. Oh, that was a big hit. And he, he saved and he got hit again. And he got hit again. And he got hit again. And Schwartz, that was amazing. Schwartz just drove right on through that, and Galligan flipped over. And flips over, and I believe rests on his roof. Nope, he's going to land on all four wheels here, so.
Further up, nobody else wrecked. That was just Chris Summers sitting in the infield there. Sean Galligan's car is destroyed. So many cars have wrecked out of the race today. And now, did Danny Wells and Evan Earnhardt have a disagreement? Well, they did, but it didn't look like it caused a wreck. Wow. Those guys uh, got a little bit heated. But that did not cause a crash. So let's go back to the green. We'll restart with 10 laps to go. So lapped cars will be an issue. Zach Buchanan will lead him back down. Let's get back to the green. Wind speeds for this restart will be about 15 miles an hour, so it might push him up into the wall, and if it does, we will more than likely end this race under caution. Zach Buchanan, CJ Sorensen, Connor Breton, Danny Wells, Evan Earnhardt, Mitch Speed, Dion Petty, Greg Jones, DJ Sorensen, and Kurt Kozlowski. The top 10 for this restart, as we will come around and get the green with four laps to go. So I don't think if we get a caution, we'll go back green. Unless it's like on the first lap of the restart, then we have a possibility of a one-lap dash. But if we get it more than one green flag lap into the run, then it's done. But that last time, we made about two laps, so it's kind of improving each time. So hopefully we can get this race in under green flag conditions. As Zach Buchanan going for a second career win. We go back green. Pretty even restart by pretty much the entire top five, but Mitch Speed, back in sixth, wasted no time on this restart. Here he comes. Speed to the inside of Evan Earnhardt for fifth. Zach Buchanan looks to run away with it right now, but Connor Breton trying to close. Everybody on this restart, this is the time that you have to make your passes. That got tight. And I think we made it this lap. We did. And Evan Earnhardt, he's going to be stuck on the outside. DJ Sorensen closing in on him. Dion Petty has never won a race, but he has closed into fifth. I think it's Zach Buchanan's race, even if we get a caution. If this race ends under green or a caution, it doesn't matter, I think. I think pretty much either way, it's going to be Zach Buchanan. Seven Earnhardt almost got wrecked. And actually, <laughs> yeah, CJ is closer than we thought. Zach is hoping for caution now because CJ has come to the rear bumper of Buchanan. Checking through the field, making sure these guys are keeping it clean and green. I think we are going to make it to the uh, checkered flag without wrecking. But it's going to be Zach Buchanan, it looks like, as he's going to lead him to the white flag. Two-tenths of a lead last time by. This time, three-and-a-half-tenths. He's pulling away. It's going to need to be a last-minute charge by C.J. Sorensen if he's going to win this race. As Zach Buchanan leads down the back stretch, half a lap to go at Vegas. It has been 27 races since Zach Buchanan has last gone to victory lane. Battle for second. It's going to go to CJ. But Zach Buchanan coming to the checker. He's going to win it at Las Vegas. Great job, Zach Buchanan. As he is going to go to victory lane for the second time in his career. Uh, caution. Caution came out. We had to check on that, and we see some smoke on the back stretch. Race is over, but I think Charles Jackson might have wrecked. Let's get a replay. Well, it was the last lap of the race. Everybody's going for it. Charles Jackson and John Dilling went for it a little bit too hard. That was a battle for the 16th position at the moment of this crash. And Charles got hit by John Dillon, spun around, and Schwartz was able to avoid him. So... Single car spin on the back stretch. No damage was sustained on that number 09 car. So Zach Buchanan is going to go to victory lane for the first time in 27 races. This is the 28th race. So it's been about 27 races since Buchanan has last gone to victory lane. Let's get to the results. All right, here are your finishing results for today's race at Las Vegas. First place, Zach Buchanan, C.J. Sorensen, Connor Breton, 
uh, Brian LaFleur Jr., DJ Sorensen, Kurt Keselowski, Dion Petty, Evan Earnhardt, Corey Williams, and Phil Jones. So that is first through tenth. That is 11th through 20th with Jack Richards being 11th, Carter Kozlowski 20th, and you can look at the results, find your favorite driver. 21st through 30th, 25th on down, we're at least one lap down, and 31st to 40th, we're all over 10 laps down with Alex Filter 31st and uh, Joseph Bryant 40th, 41st Sean Henley, and 42nd, the driver that caused Kenny Murray a shot at the win and his first win it would be for Kenny so uh... actually uh, oh yeah yeah it has been 27 races okay so congratulations to Zach Buchanan on his win in today's race let's get a celebration screen for Buchanan